On March 2, 1982 Bruce Arm Conkey gave the following speech at BYU. I shall speak of our relationship with the Lord and of the true fellowship all saints should have with the Father. I shall set forth what we must believe relative to the Father and the Son in order to gain eternal life. I shall expound the doctrine of the Church relative to what our relationship should be to all members of the Godhead, and do so in plainness and simplicity, so that none need misunderstand or be led astray by other voices. I shall express the view of the brethren, of the prophets and apostles of old, and of all those who understand the scriptures and are in tune with the Holy Spirit. Now it is no secret that many false and vain and foolish things are being taught in the sectarian world and even among us about our need to gain a special relationship with the Lord Jesus. I shall summarize the true doctrine in this field. Let us set forth those doctrines and concepts that a gracious God has given to us in this day and which must be understood in order to gain eternal life. They are, one, we worship the Father and Him only and no one else. We do not worship the Son and we do not worship the Holy Ghost. There are yet others who have an excessive zeal which causes them to go beyond the mark. Their desire for excellence is inordinate. In an effort to be truer than true, they devote themselves to gaining a special personal relationship with Christ that is both improper and perilous. I say perilous because this course, particularly in the lives of some who are spiritually immature, is a gospel hobby which creates an unwholesome, holier-than-thou attitude. In other instances, it leads to despondency because the seeker after perfection knows he is not living the way he supposes he should. Now, I know that some may be offended at the counsel that they should not strive for a special and personal relationship with Christ. It will seem to them as though I am speaking out against mother love or Americanism or the little red schoolhouse, but I am not. There is a fine line here over which true worshipers will not step. I wonder if it is not part of Lucifer's system to make people feel they are special friends of Jesus when in fact they are not following the normal and usual pattern of worship found in the true Church.